Without Diane's support, there can be no mobilization. And he is unconvinced that the threat is imminent. Helen never really had a transformative look like that before. We had cheek pieces, eye bags, teeth made. We had a lot of help from Golda's family. And when her grandchildren watched it, they said, yeah, we've just watched our grandmother. I assume it's why I love people so much, then I have to believe that in some remote corner of my soul, there is a way out. Leonard Bernstein had deviated septum, kind of nasal voice. Bradley asked me, can you do something about it? Maybe I can change the size of the hole on the nose plug to widen the nose so you can have that effect to it. We kind of nailed down to the size and that's what he had in his nose. Richard, you tell Ruth I'll be down in Pasadena Thursday. With Killian Murphy, the whole story spans five decades. His most useful look at Cambridge. I used dental plumpers to counteract the weight loss. We went into the second look in his late 20s. At Los Alamos, which is the third look, Oppenheimer was more tanned and glowing. Later on in his 40s, that's when we started to show the subtle aging. Bella's hair grows at an accelerated rate. I thought it might be quite nice to map that as she grows as a woman through the story. So I changed it from when she arrives in Lisbon to the ship and then in Paris. It's just a real marker of her place in society. So we had to follow very closely the look of the original characters because we were talking about real people and a lot of them are still alive. We actually had to make the actors look younger at the beginning to give them that youthful look so that then you can see the change that they go through. And I want you to see what happened to them. 